Right, hi Pat. Um, <coughs> another great win, second week running, four goals. We were talking a few weeks ago about how Largs hadn't maybe been getting the goals. That was something you were hoping to address, and you have done in quite, quite, quite good style, it has to be said. I, uh, no, I said to you a few weeks ago, we kind of showed up in midfield and stopped making goals at the back, we had to try and score goals, and, and indeed eight goals in two games is great, and, and indeed it could have been more today. You know, it could have been more. So, no, pleased, pleased today with them. Yeah. Good stuff. In terms of um, Royal Albert made it difficult to an extent in the first half. Absolutely, you know, uh, they worked extremely hard. They had one chance in the first half and they hit a post with it. And that's always a danger uh, when you control the game as much as we were controlling. What we spoke about at half time was we, sco- we were one nothing up, but and we had good play up to 18 yard box, but our final pass wasn't what it should have been and we were maybe trying a wee clever pass rather than taking two touches and holding it in but they done that in the second half to be fair to them were quality in the last third was very good good response from the start of the second half got the goals and allowed us to make the changes Good, I mean even watching the team today I mean you see guys like um, Kevin Strillers coming on and making a, a great contribution as well even coming off the bench so there's this player competition for places at the moment ah, Kevin Strillers a fantastic player and his attitude is fantastic as well and uh, he's been un- un- unfortunate, uh, done well in the Beath game, and he's been unfortunate. He was he was on a bench and uh, come on the day and he could have scored with his first touch, but he's everything's positive with Kevin. His his desire um, and the finishing will come for Kevin as well. Yeah. Um, Jojo Connolly as well. He had a great game today and he was unlucky not to score. Aye, I think I think uh, the whole central midfield three that we had with Gordon, Gus and Jojo were, were very good today and uh, Jojo was very unlucky with his shot to come off the bar. Uh, sometimes we forget Jojo's a young man as well and he's, he's still developing as a player and getting used to junior football coming for, for, from Hamilton. Uh, but no, he had a good game again today. Well done. Sure. And like, and you and Lindsay's been doing awfully well. Got two goals last week. Got another goal this week. He's turned, he's a top scorer at the moment, um, and he's banging them in for you. Aye, fantastic. You know, uh, the one at the end as well. He's, he's finishing the first half. It's a great finish. It's a good throw-ins were a lot better today. You know, we we work on a lot of our set pieces, and we we spoke before the game about our set pieces. Were throw-ins, were corners. They weren't good enough last week. The movement wasn't right, and how some if one man doesn't do his run, then it's like dominoes and it all falls down because that run creates the space. And today they what they what the throw-ins well, they worked the corners well, and Ewan gets his goal off the movement for the throw-in. Great stuff for him. Great desire. Great, great, great individualism at the end from him when he pulled the one down the halfway line a fantastic ball switch to play 40 yards then try to go on to the end of the back post and he was very unlucky not to get his double again today No, We didn't get to speak to you last week after the, the game against Anthony's but um, that was a great turnaround as well wasn't it from 2-0 down um, and that's a great confidence <coughs> booster psychologically isn't it that from 2 down Lars can come back and uh, Yeah no, we, we, we questioned their character at half, half time uh, and, and they showed it in spades in the second half and then their quality you know they're a good group of boys they've got a good collective spirit and they demonstrated that and today they've done well as well and, and fair play to Royal Albert you know even even though they were before nothing doing they never stopped and they kept at it and we wee bit disappointed with a goal at the end we never marked it was a free header in the box for a free kick that's unacceptable uh, and it kind of took the shine off it for, for Neil because he should have walked out of that game with a clean sheet in terms of Kilburnie next week um, they've had mixed results I think they had the win today so they'll be oh, coming the um, today, coming Glasgow. Uh, they were at Glasgow Persia today that's uh, a very difficult place to go at any time so no, Kilburnie's Kilburnie are coming out with confidence I know they've made uh, a few additions and indeed well they beat coming up gate too so they did a few weeks back so uh, Kilburnie will be made their additions feeling confident they won today and that's that's good should they tease up for a good derby game then yep okay that's great pat thanks very much okay cheers carl